Alright, welcome back to some more Detroit Become Human. Uh, I, I, I'm, we're just gonna get right into this. Right into the game. Because, what the hell is this? Reboot. Oh shit, is this Marcus? Oh my god, Marcus. Dude took a bullet to the face and is still kicking. Even for an android, that's impressive. Oh god, it's like an android graveyard. Oh shit. Well, you got a bullet to the head, so. Impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Okay, apparently we're Sherlock Holmes now. Yeah, that's where the bullet went into you. Corrupted audio data, so you won't be able to hear. Uh, what else is there? A mouth? See, hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil? Uh, oh. All systems in low power mode. Defective. Legs, I guess. Missing, unable to stand. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool the way it sounds. Oh, come on. Get there. You got this, Marcus. We're gonna get back there and teach Leo a lesson. Oh man, he is struggling. Is that a leg? There's a leg. Is it compatible? Yes, it is. Wait, are both of my legs gone? Or just the one? And why did they scrap? Oh. Why did they scrap me that instantly? And why did they shoot me so quick too? Oh, that one's weird. You have to like pull into yourself. Fetch compat. All right, fetch compatible left leg. So they did take both my legs. Well, now that we got one leg, it should be a little bit easier to move because you can kick off with your other leg. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Just throw that hunk of shit. What is that? Boy, 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 boy. Oh, I guess it's just like... We should probably get a power module or something. Alright. It's a good thing that he still has the ability to tell what's compatible. Dude, what, that dude's alive back there. We should be able to save him, right? Now we can stand. Alright, just like the Sandman in Spider-Man 3, take it slow. Oh, I can't tell because my eye thing. This dude's still alive, isn't he? I, I don't think this guy is. Oh, maybe he is. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jellicoe. Find Jellicoe. Ferdinand? Find Jericho. Can you take his eye? Or how about, you know, cover up your heart? This is actually. Oh my god, this is like Android Hell. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's like Hell. It's like a Silent Hill game now. Holy shit. Keep moving, keep. Oh. Where are you going? Uh, away from you. Oh, take his fucking pieces. He deserves it. Man, there's other people still kicking. Oh, no, he's he's dead. Oh, what about that one guy who just dropped? So you got anything that I could use? Maybe an eye? 
course. Because I don't want to take it from the people who are standing, you know? Okay, well, he's no longer standing. Oh, okay. starting to give me like some like anxiety and shit man like it's giving you the hard choices kill someone who is asking you to kill them or spare them and leave them to potentially suffer I don't know when I played Beyond Two Souls I spared the mom spoilers for Beyond Two Souls if you haven't played it I spared the mom but it said you left her to suffer <sighs> I can't. I can't. No, please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Is that him? I can't. I can't read. Really choose. Oh God! This is. I please. Oh boy. I guess that's the last bit of life he had. He used it to fight me? I, I gotta find parts, I guess. I guess I can't get out of here without finding the parts. Are you gonna drop? Or are you dead? Incompatible. Ooh, compatible! Well, he's definitely dead. Hello. Okay, he's not I'm dead. AK 700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? You can give me your eye. Hello. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite. Mission. I guess he he's not really alive. So, or I mean, he's not alive because of being a head. Oh, nice. I get my uh, health now. This will be this will be a lot easier now. But I still need like a power cord, don't I? Ah, see? What about this dude? I guess. Oh my god! This is. Oh wait, I can check it from a distance. Oh yeah. I guess this guy's pretty fucked too, so. I guess it's okay if I. He's still alive, isn't he? Oh no! Oh, that's, an, that's an annoying noise. Let's put it in. Oh, I've felt. I've had that noise before and that kind of feeling when my ears were completely fucked up. Oh, that's really loud. I, I can. I, it sucks to not be able to hear. All right. Well, this guy is a hundred percent dead. I just want to check just to make sure. I'm, uh, incompatible. Okay, this guy. Oh no, he's probably not dead. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. That's all good. I'm not gonna kill people just to. No, we are not going to take that, Marcus. But we still need a pump regulator. Anything from anybody else? He's the only one that has it so far. I can't do anything with him. He seems to have already died, so. Alright, let's see. Please. Yes! Alright, and I don't see a head on this one, so that means he's probably dead. That guy's still crawling. My god, these are some tough sons of bitches. Oh no, he's got a head. 
He's gonna be alive. Okay, he's not alive anymore, even if he was. Alright, we got like two seconds, like Iron Man. Put it in. Put it in. Get it in. Come on. Oh, now let's get into the Mark II suit. What the hell? God, this is scary. It said climb the slope, but it was like red and it was like, don't do this. I have the willpower. And I have legs. Come on, keep climbing. Keep, keep going. Don't want to fall back down. It's gonna like make me like kick a person down just to get up. Keep going, keep going. Oh, that guy's fucked. I don't know how far he slid down. Oh. Come on, you're almost out, you're almost out, Marcus! Kind of feels like Sandman and uh, Spider-Man 3. Just reforging yourself and slowly rising from the dust. Oh wait, now my eye is the same color as the rest of me. Like before it was like grayed out around his eye. Oh, now it's Shawshank Redemption. That's got to be a reference. No way it's not. Okay. What are you doing? What are you going to do with that, Marcus? I mean, I have no other choices. What the fuck? What is... Oh wait, I did it! What the hell? Guess I gotta cut the same part again. Oh, I, I let go. Right as I... Oh, now I look completely human. Ooh, that's slightly scary, but also fucking awesome. Why would you make them so easily to be removed and yet non-vital for the androids to function? If you want them to be known, you have to make that thing vital. My name is Marcus. My name is Marcus. <laughs> I didn't know he would say that. And this is our story. My name is Marcus. And I am the spirit of vengeance. Oh, who's next? Back to Connor, please. Holy shit, I almost did everything. What could I not have... What could I... Alright, so this is all mandatory. Let's see. Find pump regulator and android. Refuse to kill for pump. Okay. Android begs to die. Refuses to kill. Find optic unit. And two other things. Wow. Only 31% of people refuse to kill for the pump. And only 6% of people refuse to kill the android. 60% find pump regular and dead android. Wow. That's bad statistics. Yeah, Connor. Hmm. I have no idea where I am. Perhaps I should... What, what the hell? Where the hell am I? Find Amanda. Who the fuck is Amanda? Did the dub just make noise even though it was stopped? Uh, that's a bit of a fuck up. I guess... I guess that's Amanda. And there's no way I can move faster, right? No? Alright. That, that's the one thing I hate about these types of games. If they don't 
Okay, can I, can I go back to my original view? There we go. If they don't give you a way to speed up. Uh, I can already tell this person is going to be pretentious as fuck. Amanda, Hello, Amanda. trusted. Connor, it's good to see you. I guess not pretentious for now. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. It wasn't hard. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. So she likes me. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. Not really. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized devi deviancy intervention simulation. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. <gasps> Do I get to work with Clancy Brown again? Well, unpleasant, dysfunctional, unsure, uh, I guess intriguing is the best one. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Alright, there's the good part. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, friendly, adapt, indifferent, don't know. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust I don't care me, if this bitch hates me. I want, I want Clancy Brown to like me. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. Hey, maybe we should You're the most listen to the prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. How? You can count on me, Amanda. And if it comes to be a choice between you or Hank, trust me, you're gonna Hurry, die. Connor. There's little time. Little time? I, I, I would hope I have more time. I mean, I've only been playing this game for like three hours. Is that the end of Connor's story for now? Nope. Sweet. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, it's an android. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yes. This conversation is going to be a lot of pauses in between sentences. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thank you. Uh, anything for me to do around here? Nope. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, is it gonna open? Okay. Let's talk to you. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. The Minister for Defense. It's that desk right there. Thank you. The one with a bunch of crap on it. What is this? Oh. P.O. person. Uh, P.O. Brown. Okay, so this is just... You look at all the names. So it, it actually might help if I look at the names for some reason. I don't, you never know in this. Android Cop, model PM700, commissioned August 2037, Android unit. No shit, it's an Android unit. I guess I don't get to do anything with that. Alright, so let's just go over to... Oh, excuse me, I had to burp. Lieutenant Anderson. Here we go. And yeah, he's not here. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> I like this guy. See him before noon. Thanks. All right. Well, let's uh, 
I guess I don't. I guess I have to sit down. I was gonna say, let's learn about it, uh, Clancy. And yeah, once again, this he's gonna be Clancy Brown. Okay, so get up. There you go. Listen. Okay, some heavy metal. Knights of the Black Death. Dark heavy metal. He's a bit of a slob, but he's my slob. I don't. Hold on. I don't. Something. If I wanted to be ignored, I'd talk to my ex wife. How's my driving? Call one. <laughs> One five five five. I don't care. We don't bleed the same color. No more androids. If you're not a bartender, then go away. That that's probably my favorite one. Warning to avoid injury. Don't tell me how to do my job. Some kind of baseball hat or basketball. Cotton. Okay. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest have, has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. Uh, Detective Hank Anderson, a young but huge... Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. I held it in though. That fucking hurt. Alright, so this is just all about Anderson. So now I, I should know like more about him, right? It, it doesn't like show anything, but... Hairs, canine hairs, St. Bernard dog. Oh, he's got a dog. Yeah, look, it's motherfucking Clancy Brown. Let's see. Not, s not sure since 2000 something nine. Owe me 50 bucks. A good cop, real police. Asshole, nice girl. Okay. A uh, hell of a lot of donuts. He probably shouldn't eat that. He's probably gonna have a heart attack or something. Japanese maple. Okay, so he likes plants. Cold coffee, traces of caffeine. One more. Ah! Matches. Or Origins Jimmy's Bar. Okay. I think I've learned everything I could about him. Lieutenant Anderson was a decorated officer. Oh, hello. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. Oh, who is the guy? I don't know why, but that guy just reminded me of, uh... What's his face? I can't remember. He's, uh, Mac in Predator. Enter and listen in. Am I allowed to? Keep walking, Connor. I guess I'm supposed to. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Okay, this so clearly something's happening with the androids. It's now a criminal you should, investigation. You should, got you know, their solution should, will probably end up being, let's keep doing the same thing. See if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Can you talk? Cyberlife sent over to this android chief to help like with this? the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. I love Clancy hey, Brown. You are seriously starting to piss me off. Yeah. 
You can fire him. Lieutenant, you are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> This conversation is over. This is a girl. I'm loving this chapter Jesus already. Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'd excuse there you me, go. I've got work to do. Use your authority, man. The fucking police chief. He does what you say. Ah, I kicked the table. Sorry. Uh. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Okay, apparently this guy's a dick to androids too. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> and that's when that guy got a whole a new idea for a t-shirt. <laughs> kind of just becomes like the new Forrest Gump. Uh... Okay, check on Hank. Come on. Get around. Go the fuck. Okay. You are starting to piss me off. Ah, oh, there he is. Damn. Bishop's dead. Alright. What's that... Ivan says yet. Maybe if I had asked about uh or Ivanov, I said Ivan. Maybe if I asked about Hank while we were in there, I would have been able to get the uh, secondary di or the fourth dialogue option. Okay, uh constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> that smile. Partners positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. You just said that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. He's having a piss party. What the fuck? Is there a desk anywhere I can what use? What is that triangle no one's on? using that one. Well, he finally talked, so that's good. Seriously, what is that other option? I got everything on his desk. I guess it's some. Um, maybe if I asked the the chief or something. Maybe about Anderson. I don't know. I'll look it up later. Sit down. Oh boy. It's starting to get all wonky. Okay. See so here we go. Uh, music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy you listen to heavy metal well I don't really listen to music as such but I'd like to all right he likes me a little more uh dog you have a dog right how do you know that the dog hairs on your chair I like dogs what's your dog's name what's it to you Just curious making conversation sumo sumo I call him sumo okay uh basketball you're a detroit gears fan right denton carter scored 53 percent of his shots from the three-point line yesterday did you see the game that's what i was watching at the bar last night oh oh should not have brought up Anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Have you known Captain Fowler Damn for long? It. Yeah. Too long. Oh, I got half a mind to restart this just so I can get a better score with Hank. If you have any files on Deviants, 
I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Alright, so... I didn't honestly think that this game would be... I was wondering... Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I <laughs> arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? A wizard is never early or late. He arrives when he ex when he is in when he is. Oh God, I had a stroke. I can't get the words out. English, Brandon. He arrives when needed. All right. So I didn't honestly think that uh the game would be like, alright, so you can unlock these options, but if you talk about them, some people might not like you as much. Like, that that's pretty cool. Oh, there's Kara. Case reference, aggressive, victim, Todd Williams, reporting officer. Kate assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. Case status open, involving android. The plaintiff claims he was, was violently attacked by, by his domestic android. An AX400 model. The android has just returned from being repaired to the previous day and has shown signs of aggression in the past. Wow. Lying son of a bitch. Oh, there's a lot of them. Wow. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. Uh oh. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. So, are Andrews allowed to drive? Please. Uh. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And. Hey! Don't talk to me. Like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Damn it. It's a bit of a dick, but uh I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Ooh. Uh oh. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. This is not good. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that attacked me. Alright, so myself. there's a good chance I'm it's gonna restart this. Ready. Not on camera, but... I'm on it. I'll, I'll let you know what I change. Whew. Ah uh, yeah, so that's probably gonna end up saving it here. So let's see. Whoa, Hank got a lead. Oh, let's see. Public opinion indifferent. Hank. Oh, Hank's still warm. In the Zen Garden. Find Amanda. Talk to Amanda. Arrive at the police station. Let's see. Hank arrives. Hank storms out. Explore the station. Read famous painter dies. Examine Hank's desk. Uh, learn about Hank. Talk to Hank. Examine files. Talk to the case. Talk about the case. Hank is mad. Uh, I mean, ninety-eight percent people got that, so I guess. I guess yeah. I, I guess I won't redo it. I mean, I, I seem to have done an okay job besides the two other dialogue options: the basketball and why he hates me. I mean, everything else seems to be par for the course. Alice, trusted. Alright, oh shit, actually, I just looked at the time. We're going to stop this here. Uh, I'm going to stop it here. So, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for all things. Earl, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.